Okay, folks, back at it, California desert. All my staghorn cacti friends. We're going for a uh, petrified palm wood, which is a rare one here to find, but it's pretty cool. Uh, as well as Dumortrite. Look at that, there's a piece right there. The challenge with this is that all the rocks look the exact same. They have something called the desert, gla desert glaze. All the rocks look the exact same. Oh, there's another piece of Dumortrite. See it? See the blue? Let me cast some shade on that. Then maybe you'll see it. See the blue? So, that's what I'm going for. But, most of these rocks all have a, kind of like a lacquer that's built on them. So I can smack some open, they might be more tread. I'm gonna have to realize some of the identifying factors. Um, otherwise, I'm just stuck with finding shattered pieces where I can see a window in, and that'll have happened due to uh, different floods and washes where um, other rocks have been uh, cast over top and smacked into this. And, uh, and gave me a window in. So, another thing we're looking for is agates, right? That one. And right here, that's an agate. Even here, this is an agate piece. That's quartz, we'll leave that. There, there's another agate piece. So I can tell by how smooth it is, the way it's broken, the textured pattern on it. Sorry, not textured pattern. Um, the pattern inside uh, with the spot, so it's a nice brown agate with uh, golden dots in it. Here's another piece, and uh, how you find it is you just walk as far as anyone else, and you get to spots where no one else has looked. Look at this behind me, right where I'm standing, is a nice uh, blue little nugget of demorchurite. See it right there. So I started to fill my bag with a few pieces, but there's another. Hey, hey, here's where I just picked up that blue one. I'm just getting up and I noticed that we have another agate right there. So for me to describe it, you know, now that I've been now that I got a bag full of it, I would say you're looking for the darkest rocks, like the blackest of the blacks. But the other thing is it's gonna have a, a blue hue to it. So something like this is obviously like one of the darkest rocks out here, but it doesn't have the blue hue. It's gonna be very, very faint, meaning there's not a lot of blue to it, but it's a very, very dark blue, like such a royal blue, almost like a, like a high, high grade lapis. So, if that's what you're looking for. And you'll notice it because you get attracted by the darkness of the stone first, that blackness, and then you go, what, huh? And you check closer, and if it speaks to you with the blue as well, then you know you've uh, you've got one. I've been walking in the desert for quite a while now. It's a cool feeling being alone out here. Here, blue. Here, bluey, bluey, bluey. There we go. This one. I spotted and again it looks black just like the others but I knocked a chip off on the edge there and it's blue inside right there so you can see the uh, blue chip maybe maybe not there's a uh, small chunk of agate beside it but it's got a very very faint blue hue like it's so tough to tell compared to all these other rocks. Really it's just this different in real life. Slightly more blue and that is our 
works right. So the fossil wood, it's gonna have a different texture to it. See that wind slick look like the, where the wind has polished and glazed it, but it's still maintained its raw edges. That's a piece of wood. And over here, same thing. That too. Fossilized agate wood. Oh, right there. See the wind slick surface texture? I think this is your more track too. I guess that one, this one for sure is. That has that blue hue. That one's Demorch, right? This one, I gotta break open and check. Here's a piece of wood. Palm root. Fossilized palm root. 